We're here at Oklahoma Technical College, and we're going to learn a little bit about our HVAC program. Hi, Liddy. I'm Richard Shepard. Hi, Richard. This is our department head and instructor. Can you show us around the classroom? Sure. Right? Let's go. All right. So this is the classroom? This is the classroom. What does a typical day in class look like for your students? Well, the students come in, and we talk um, about what we're going to be doing for the day. And then um, we watch a um, video, instructional video, and then we, um, which is kind of short. Um, Just kind of showing what they're going to work on that day? Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. And then I'll go over like wiring diagrams. I like to draw everything out because people are visual learners. Mm -hmm. And they like to see it, not just hear it or read it. Then we'll go over some of the material in the book. We have like this book here, which is um, Refrigeration, Air Conditioning, Technology, the eighth edition. You can use this for your journeyman and your contractors. Um, you'll have a lab manual and we give you the code books, mechanical code and gas code books to use for the industry. And you'll have all of that. Besides tons of um, materials, we make wiring di diagrams because like I always say, nobody's gonna pay you to come in their house and change a light bulb, but they will pay you to know that. When that air conditioner goes out, they will be calling you. If the refrigerator goes out, they will call you. Um, so we're important people to the community. Um, you know, there's a need for HVAC people and refrigeration people. Now over here, I'd like to show you, these are many of the parts that we show to students. Okay. And, um, you know, whenever we teach them on certain things, we'll pull up like a star capacitor, run capacitor, or a circuit board. Um, you can see pictures of past students working in the lab. Uh, here's Juan working on a furnace. And you can see pictures of students when we went on field trips working on units and stuff. Most of these guys, almost all of them are journeymen right now. And um, some of them are mechanical contractors, have their own licenses now. And when you come here, we'll employ you to become a apprentice and get the apprentice card and we will teach you um, the EPA certification so you become EPA certified and then we'll get you on the road to getting your journeyman and your mechanical contractor's license. So can we see where they do some more of the hands-on Yeah, stuff? let's go to lab and find out where we do that. Right. So when we come in here and walk through here real quick, I want to stop for a second and tell you that up these stairs we have a fully equipped library and resource center for the students in here during break time they can learn to take a break and relax and over here they have vending machines and places to eat their lunch or their breakfast and let's keep on going towards the lab so richard what is it about your program that makes it special well what makes it special is a lot what doesn't make it special is the shorter story which isn't anything we try to be perfectionists at everything we do um, for the students from getting really nice equipment like commercial size equipment like this all the way down to domestic refrigerators for them to work on. Um, if you come in the lab you can see that we have many different types of gas furnaces right here. From the oldest models with the standing pilot going up and up and up until your newest models. So they can really work on anything. Through, they're, they're prepared to see anything. Oh yeah, and you can look at this equipment. We don't say hands off, don't mess it up. We say get in there and get it. We want you to learn. I'd rather you get over the awkwardness of uh, any fears you may have about this industry in here. So when you go out in the field, you feel comfortable and confident you can do what you need to do to get your career going. Over here we have condensing unit and um, water source heat pump. Over here we have commercial size package units, heat pump units. We have all kinds of different commercial ice machines. Because you know our job is getting people, teaching them to make things cool so other people can be cool. And that ain't always easy, but that's what we do. So are you saying this is the coolest program? Oh, by far. And there's nothing more cool and what's, what's cooler than cold? Ice cold. And that's what we do. We teach you, <laughs> we make ice, we teach you to never let restaurants go without ice, hotels go without ice. I say all the time, if you're laying on your sofa at home, you're in air conditioning and you go to your refrigerator and that breaks, that's us. If you go to your car, you got air conditioning, the gas station's air conditioning, 
the grocery store, the fruit, the produce, the meat, the frozen food, the flowers, everything is, is HVAC. So From the air, the duct work, how clean the air is, it's all of us. So where do students end up working after they're done with this program? Well, they can go to work in a lot of different places. Everything from grocery stores to places like um, government buildings to school boards. I have a friend who's a maintenance guy at FBI. Um, oh, cool. oh, you can go to work in many different industries. You can go to work for residential, commercial refrigeration, domestic refrigeration, small appliance window units, uh, commercial, light commercial, industrial air distribution, filtration and maintenance. You could go to work with um, distributors like Linux Carrier and work at the places that sell parts. Okay. I so, mean, it's pretty limitless. So how often do your classes start? They start every week. Every week? Every week so they, they start. And you can whenever. jump in right where we are and we start you off slow and you just keep on going. Days like nine months, nights like 11 months. Day is from 7 a.m. to 12 and night classes from 5.30 to 10.30. And we take you slow, like this is a light bulb, and this is how you hook up a light bulb, and this is what a circuit is. And we just keep bringing you up in electrical until you're pretty um, confident that you can do it. When over here, we bring you into um, grazing copper projects when you first come and doing things like that. Um, you know, so you learn how to use copper and all like we use here, right? Like right now, I have the students working on motors. I not only pull a whole motor apart, the students got to put the whole motor back together and then wire it in and show me he can get it running. That way, when he goes in somebody's backyard to work on a residential unit, he's confident from the bottom to the top of this motor. He knows every part of it, how to change it. Um, I even teach him where to get it, how to get the right kind of motor, how to get um, substitutes if the OEM's not available, all of it. How to wire it. Can you show me the rest of the lab? Yeah. So over here we have um, parts. And with the parts, we have good parts and bad parts. And we exchange these inside the units and put bugs in the units so the students have to continually troubleshoot the units and figure out what part's broken and come over here and get the right part and put it in oh, there wow. so it works. So yeah, we challenge them pretty good. Then we don't leave nothing for chance. Everything's, you know, um, you know, we don't, we don't like. We talk to you about being frustrated. We don't want you getting frustrated, emotional. We tell, we teach you to be steady. How to take um, challenges and turn them into opportunities. Difficulty just becomes another opportunity for you. Um, you know, because people can get frustrated when they're repairing things. And so we teach you how to overcome that kind of emotion and learn to be steady handed as a, um, as a tech. And be cool under pressure. Cool under pressure, man. Cool at all times, that's <laughs> us. We're temperature techs, that's what we do. Who do you usually have come into your program? Oh, I have all types. I have uh, many different kinds of people. I have um, your older to your younger. I have everyone, I have 19 year olds in my class. I have, um, uh, 65, 70 year olds I've had in my class. I've had just about any kind of student you could think of in my class. There's really no one who couldn't do HVAC. That's awesome. The industry's so broad and there's so many different things you could do that anybody could do HVAC, really anyone. And we want to make sure that you're successful. We're a nonprofit school. We make sure that you're set up with everything that you need to be successful. They get a laptop, they get a toolkit. They get a toolkit, a tool bag full of tools including gauges, hand tools, electro electrical meter. Um, they get all these things, and then when they leave, they get a grad kit. Now, the grad kit consists of a torch, electronic leak detector, a uh, micron gauge, a laser temperature, a deal, all kinds of things, a dual gas manometer. You get all those tools to take out in the industry when you leave. Wow. So if you're interested in this program, Visit us at oklahomatechnicalcollege.com and you can look for enrollment info on there or you can call at 918-895-7500. Thank you so much for showing us You're around, welcome, Richard. Lydia. I appreciate the opportunity to show it to you. Thank you.